curling's had an incredible following the last few Olympics. It's just gotten rave reviews, and people are fascinated by watching it. But when you're when you're flipping through the channels and you come across curling, I would encourage people to really watch and pay attention to the strategy and the amount of teamwork to figure out how they're going to score their points. The games come down to a matter of inches. Pay attention to that strategy. And think about what would your next shot be. It's like a game of chess, but you're on ice and you're delivering stones and you're playing with teammates and trying to make all of that work together. It's a pretty incredible, pretty incredible game. The sport of curling is granite stones on ice. It's called curling because the stones, when they're delivered or thrown, they curl. They'll go in a, a counterclockwise or clockwise rotation. They curl down the ice. When you're throwing a stone, the mechanics are you squat down and you look down the sheet of ice and there'll be someone standing holding a broom. And that's where you aim. You try to just nicely and smoothly release the stone to the broom. When you see two teammates sweeping the stone, what they're doing is they're melting a, a thin layer of ice and this curling stone will be able to glide on that thin layer of water and it's like hydroplaning and it'll be able to go uh, farther and straighter. Good one. Nice shot. When um, you see two stones hitting with um, nice great force, that's yes, called a takeout. And if we yep, knock nice out shot. two of our opponent's stones with great, one nice stone, shot. that's called a double takeout. Points are scored in curling by seeing who's closest to the center. In curling, the power of one stone is very mighty. That one stone will score for your team and it nullifies all the other five or six opponent stones. I'd say that curling, it's, it's a wonderful sport. It's a, a family sport. And if you try the sport of curling, I hope you like it and, and, and give it a try.